I want to show the basics of Arduino to develop an electronic project. This little technological wonder is composed by an Atmel microcontroller, lots of analogical and digital inputs and outputs, serial communication and boost E2C, an easy connection with the computer via USB from where you can develop, compile and load the firmware. Arduino follows the philosophy of the open source hardware related with the open source software and thanks to that we can find boards and shields that expand the possibilities of the Arduino itself like an Ethernet shield, a Bluetooth shield, a wireless shield or the possibility to connect SD memories. To show the Arduino possibilities we are going to build a temperature sensor showing the outdoor temperature in a liquid crystal display and storing the data samples in an external EEPROM memory. The temperature sensor is an LM35 and has a very linear response and is easy to calibrate. With Arduino, it's so easy to write in a liquid crystal display. The EEPROM memory has 512 kilobits or 64 kilobytes. Because we need 2 bytes to store each sample, we can store 32,000 samples. If we fetch one sample every 5 minutes, we can register 160,000 minutes it means about 2,600 hours or 3 months of autonomy. With Arduino, we have a software developer's kit that makes easy our job. This SDK is developed in Java, but the user programming language is C or C++ related. The basics are to choose the Arduino model, in this case an Arduino Mega, to choose the serial port, in this case is a virtual serial port that physically represents the USB connection, the compilation button and the uploading button to upload the firmware to the microcontroller. We can see how this sensor follows the temperature oscillations. The LM35 temperature sensor is calibrated directly in Celsius degrees and this is the reason why this schematic is so simple in this project. In this example, we have registered the outdoor temperature for four days into the EEPROM memory. We put the firmware in reading mode, we upload this code to the microcontroller, and in the serial data console, we can see all the temperatures read directly from the EEPROM. I copy all this data in my preferred spreadsheet and visualize a typical register of a daily temperature variation. <laughs> 